Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Yes, it can be shocking waking up to narcissistic abuse when you finally realize that the person that you loved or that you cared about was evil, right? It can be really, really shocking for the chosen one and empath to, to deal with. But when you embrace the fact that these lot are of the dark realm, you know, of the negative forces, are of the devil, and their behavior is a, a result of the devil, willing, willingly as a result of the devil. It's not like the devil has a full control over them. They choose to side with that dominion, you see? They choose to be like that. That's what they choose to be, right? They choose to be like that. So it's not like I'm giving them an, a, a, an escape or an easy way out or something they can blame it on. They've chosen to be this way. And once you embrace that this person that you cared about or that you loved, you know, or that you was close to is clearly, you know, clearly, clearly messed up and deranged with, demonic spirits and negative energy whatever you want to call it right they're just coming from the darkness you know the opposite of what a chosen one and an empath is they're coming from that dark realm you know once you embrace that it kind of makes things easier you know because you realize what they are you know you you realize what they are they, they've they've got agendas they've got motives they've got sadistic pleasures they've got things that are of interest to them, that aren't of interest to you, they have no good intentions for you, you know, when you start to embrace that this is the creature you're dealing with, this helps you get rid of, you know, the trauma bond, and remembering the so-called good times that you shared together, you know, because what it helps you embrace is the fact that this person, this individual, this narcissist in your life, always had a motive, they always had an agenda, you know, they, they, they wanted to sabotage your life. They wanted to try and destroy you by any means necessary. They wanted to bring you down. They wanted to hurt your feelings, you know. And this is because, you know, they're sadistically pleased and they're devil inspired. You know, they're inspired by the devil. You know, they're led astray by the devil. And this is this is as a result of what, what happens, right? Um, They, they, they want to cause you pain. They want to cause you misery. They want to cause you upset. And once you know you're dealing, that's, that's the creature you're dealing with, you know, someone who's so low, you know, the same way that these entities or devils can't really affect chosen ones or empaths to, this, to the same degree they can affect or influence narcissists and other toxic individuals, right? Because chosen ones or empaths are on a high vibrational frequency and these narcissists and other toxic individuals are on a low vibrational frequency. That's how these demonic entities and the devil are able to affect these, you know, low vibrational creatures. So once you realize that, you know, why they've you the devils use them as 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 a passageway through to your life, you know, <coughs> to um to infiltrate your life, to cause you hurt and upset, you know, because they can't affect you themselves, right? So they need to come through someone else. Right to try and knock you off balance, to try and knock you off the path, right? So once you embrace that, then it's the same. It's the same kind of thinking that you need to have behind the narcissist, right? The narcissist is a low vibrational creature. You shouldn't allow them to knock you off your path, or not let them knock you off your journey because of their no good intentions and their disrespect and their abuse. You shouldn't let allow them to knock you off the path. You just you know, it, it it can be shocking, like I said, waking up to them being a narcissist and waking up to the fact that they they are succumb to these demonic entities, you know. Um, but all in all, like you shouldn't you, you you shouldn't allow this parasite creature to have an influence over your life, you know. Once you've awoken to the fact they're a narcissist. You know, whether you call it devils, demonic entities, negative energy, negative frequency, they're coming with some darkness. 
as simple as I can put it, they're coming with some darkness and they're not of light. You know, chosen ones and empaths are of light. You know, they have they ha they're highly intuitive beings of light with beautiful auras. These lot do not have beautiful auras and they're not beings of light. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It'll take two seconds of your time. Just like this video showed up with you. Help with the algorithm. Help it show up for someone else in the community that it may be a benefit to. But don't be shocked. Don't be scared. You know, these narcissists are only as powerful as you let them be as powerful, you know. They need you to, to give them an entrance way or an entry point, you know. You know, they... They base their whole intentions off your reactions, you know, the way they can wind you up, the way they can provoke you, the way they can hurt your feelings. You know, if you remain strong, resilient, stoic, unfazed, unbothered by these narcissist motives and agendas, that's like a slap in the face for them, you know. I'm not saying, you know, you won't be able to instinct, some of you maybe will be able to incorporate this straight away and do it. it it's going to take a little bit of practice, it's going to take a little bit of work and dedication, you know, overcoming the betrayal, the broken trust, the hurt, the pain, you know, overcoming those things from the, that this narcissist tried to inflict in your life. But basically just aim to become indifferent, aim to become in, uh, unfazed by them, you know, stoic, resilient. You know, and this is basically how you defeat narcissists, right? Is you don't let their actions knock you off the path of where you're going. It's like, you know where you're going, or at least you've got a rough idea that you're heading in a brighter direction, right? That's, that's one thing that you should, you should definitely, you should definitely know fundamentally that, you know, you were on a road together with you and this narcissist involved in your life. And when, when the road splits, you know, when the road splits and you go your own direction and they go their own direction, it's like your life's going to open up for brighter days. Their life's going to be miserable. You know, they're, they're going down the dark road, you know, they're going down the dark road. Even if they're the one that goes off of a new, a new supply or whatever, right? They're going down the dark road. It's like your life, you, you've got a promise and your life's going to open up better, you know? Especially if you're able to, you know, transmute this energy, you're able to, you know, flip turn this negative experience into a positive one, take it in your stride, you know, remain stoic, remain unfazed, not let this stuff bother you, you know, it's easier said than done. But if you try and incorporate these tactics into your, into your ways of life, you know, you sh you just shouldn't let someone, you know, these low, you shouldn't let someone who's, who's, you know, got this behavior and these antics as a result of the devil, you know, get in your way, you know, the same way the devil can't corrupt you, you know, can't corrupt the chosen one, an empath, you know, why, why, why should you let, just because it's a human doing the devil's work, why should you let them corrupt your life, you know, these narcissists and, you know, that, that, they use the words, I love you as a tool of deception and try to get close to you and try to manipulate you. Why, why, why should you let that phase you? You should, you, you should just not let that phase you, you know? Let them go on with their lives. Let them go on with their new suppliers. They're going to suffer the consequences going on with these new suppliers, you know? And as chosen ones and empaths, it's a gift that you do have is able to, like, uh, have resilience and flip turn negative situations into positive ones so this negative experience with the narcissist involved in your life you're able there is a way to flip this around flip the dynamics around and you know put it into your path put it into the way you're prospering forward you know and use it to propel you forward you know um and not be hurt you don't you don't need to be hurt you don't need to be upset about them you, you honestly don't you know they're gonna keep trying to provoke you from a distance They'll keep doing things to provoke you or doing things, you know, they they don't stop, you know, um, they try and bait you, they try and hoover you, they try and do all these things, it's, they're just trying to get a reaction from you and if you don't give them that reaction, it starves them of supply, you know, and that's ultimately what you want to do, you, you don't want to be giving them no more supply, you know, you gave them a lot of supply during, <coughs> during the relationship, you don't want to be giving them any more supply now, now the relationship's over. You know, they, they, 
this is what they they they, they try and antagonize you and try and draw you out for a reaction you know don't give them the reaction don't give them the satisfaction you know so anyway to enhance your experience and have access to a gallery of exclusive unseen videos and a chance to reach out to me personally for video request ideas you have there's a three-day free trial that can easily be cancelled at any time by going to your zion account page all video requests are processed and uploaded within 24 hours from when requests were submitted a link to the Zion membership website will appear on your screen now. Thanks for listening today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you want to donate, you don't have to, but if you'd like to support the channel, you can. Links in the description box below. For more narcissism-based content, check out our other channel. Links in the description box. Please visit the forums. One of them is Tips to Heal, and I'd love to find out what helps you on your journey. Please book a healing session with me. If you need advice or some light shed on your situation the empath monthly group meeting is coming up at the end of the month limited space is available there's a whatsapp group for survivors to stay in touch i'm also doing email consultations if you need a plan of action the links for all i've mentioned are in the description box below if you'd like to know more about the spiritual battle between narcissists and chosen ones click this video here so anyway i'll be back with another video soon peace